man, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, bro. Just get my hammock, sipping a beer, watching the sunset. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good, thanks. Thanks, bro. No, listen, listen, I gotta tell you something. And yes, don't worry. I just think I've made the right decision. Yeah, man, a lot has changed since I left, you know? Yes, yes, look, don't worry, man. I haven't lost my mind. I just, I just feel different. No, I'm still, I'm still the same guy. I've just done a lot recently and changed my perspective on a lot of things. Yeah, you know, like money, job, location, like, honestly, we don't need too much, man. There's people here with a lot less than us and they're ten times happier, trust me. And I do not need to be going back to that dead end office job ever again. Yeah, of course I miss you guys, man. <laughs> Yes, I still love you, but trust me, I've met a lot of people out here as well, and you get to know them pretty quick. <laughs> Look, I think I've just realised how lucky I really am, okay? Not that I didn't before, it's just seeing an alternative way of life, not the one that's kind of been fed to us our whole lives, you know? Honestly, I've just come to realise that why should I sit in an office desk watching the same four walls for the rest of my life? Seriously? I was watching the sunset the other day, bro. Just watching the sky melt away. I know it sounds cheesy, but it was beautiful. Transition to the sky, man, it just related to me in a way. Trust me, you should have seen it. It was absolutely beautiful. And yeah, yeah, call me a hippie, I don't care. But honestly, it was a real moment. <laughs> it was a moment I won't ever forget. And one that I've never felt before. It was a moment of realisation. A realisation that I can do things my own way and on my own time in any environment that I choose. You know, it's just made me realise what I don't want. You know, to wake up every day spending my life just to fill other people's pockets. It's my life! Surely I should be living it for me, not others, right? Yeah, honestly, man, it's like I'm 10 years old again. No worries, no regrets, just pure adventure. I'm learning every day. I'm experiencing things I could only have dreamt of doing before. But the reality is, I'm actually doing it. And I'm doing it for me. These past few months have opened my eyes to a whole new side of things I would never even imagine of seeing. And honestly, it got me thinking. Look, example, my dad called me the other day and he asked me, what are you going to do with your life? <laughs> do. Why does no one ever elaborate on that word? I think what I've been doing over the past few months is a lot more than what people have done in their whole entire lives. Surely to do something ultimately means that it, you know, something has to be achieved at the end, right? Look, for example, if I do laundry, it's done when it's clean. Therefore, if I work 9 to 5 my whole life and die like so many others with debts and regrets, then surely my life is finished but not done. As an effect, we're still living on paper. Many people's lives are finished but they're never complete. And what have they achieved? An endless paper trail in one part of the world showing your life ups and downs through bank statements and bills. Look, I'm sure, honestly, you could map anyone's life through money. How sad is that? I prefer to live for the moment. For people not to be able to trace my life through finances, but, you know, through the people I've met. The experiences I've had. Pictures taken, songs sung, stars made, tears cried. And just the attempt of making an impact on every step that I took. Look, as long as I'm happy and I'm doing something, I know that before I die, I can proudly say, yeah, I got it done. And what did I get done? As much as I could while my heart was still beating.